So the idea of indexing is going to be useful for us to solve the problem that our client has given us. But that's not enough. We need to be able to do some other operations on strings in order to write correct code. So let's take a look at some of these operators and methods that strings provide. Now I want to be clear, there are many, many operators and methods that Python strings support. On this slide, we will only see a very small number of these, but they will turn out to be extremely useful. So one operator that strings support is the in operator. It checks if one string is inside another string. Formally, we say it checks if one string is a substring of another string. Let's see what this means. Here are some examples. So in the REPL, I have checked if ban is in banana, and it says true. Why? Because I can find this sequence ban inside banana. In fact, it's right at the start. But in general, if I could find it anywhere in the string, this would have returned true. So you could say, for example, ban in three bananas, and again, it would return true because it's somewhere in that long string, three bananas. What about Anna in banana? You could argue that Anna does appear in banana. Of course, it's not consecutive, it's got a little bit of a gap. And because it's got a little bit of a gap, the answer is false. We say that one string is a substring of another if it appears consecutively somewhere in that string. You cannot have gaps like this. So Anna is not in banana. What about Nana? Well, Nana is in banana, but not with a capital N. Remember, Python is case sensitive. So if I say Nana in banana, it will say false. Now, there is a method called lower. So, nana.lower is taking the string object nana and calling the lower method on that uh, string object. Now, what exactly this is, we will defer to later, but think of it roughly like calling the lower function on the object nana. It is not quite this, but for now, let's keep that mental shortcut in mind. So if I take nana and then convert it to lowercase, then this capital N will become a little n, and then this is in banana, so we will get the answer true. So the in operator and the lower method will be useful. In addition, there is a very, very useful and powerful operator in Python like the in operator, slicing applies to strings as well as to some other types that we shall see in our next lecture. What string slicing does is it makes a copy of a substring of the given string. So let me show this to you again with an example. So in the REPL, I have initialized S to cat. Now remember, the zeroth letter is C, the oneth letter is A, and the twoth letter is t. So now I ask, what is the slice of s starting at 1 up to 2? And it just tells me a. Starting at 1, I can see that's a, but 2 is t. So why did this slice not give me a t? Well, the syntax 1 colon 2 is read like this. We start at this index before the colon, and we go up to, but not including the number after the colon. So we start at index 1, which is A, and we go up to, but not including the letter at index 2. So the slice only consists of the letter at index 1, which is just A. If I had said 1 colon 3, I would have got A T. Now Python allows me to drop the number after the colon if I want to go all the way up to the end of the string. So if I just said s1 colon, that's the slice starting at index 1 up to the end of the string. So that will just get me a t. Similarly, 
I can drop the number before the colon if I want to start from the beginning of the string. So if I say what is the slice of the string starting at the beginning up to but not including index 2. Well that would just be C at index 0 and A at index 1 but not including the T at index 2. So that would just be C A. Now since strings support negative indexing this is the same as saying S up to but not including the index minus 1. Now this starts getting hard to read but the rules are fairly clear and you can experiment in the REPL to make sure you understand them. Now before we write the code let's make sure we have understood this with this example. So this is a function that our friend has written but they have not named it properly. In fact, they've called it mystery. So let's try and understand how it works. Given a string s, we first convert that s to lowercase, which means if it has any uppercase letters like the capital I in India, then that will convert it to lowercase. Now we set result equal to zero. And there is no recursion in here. These are just a series of simple if conditions. We're using the in operator. We say if little a is in the string, then result plus equal to 1. What does this mean? Well, this is just shorthand for saying result is equal to result plus 1. So if little a is in the string, we increase the result by 1. Similarly, if little e is in the string, we in increase the result by 1, and so on for every other lowercase vowel. Finally, on line 14, we return the result. So the question I have for you is, can you come up with a better name than mystery? Choose a name amongst these that best captures the purpose of this function. 